Sparky! Well, we told him for the last 12 months that November was coming, right? Well, we got a message today, don't we? It says, November is here! That message, that message of responsible spending and not wasting our children's inheritance. Amen. You know, I've, I've got a son being born next month. He already owes the federal government $40,000. Wow. That should never be the case. And one of, those, one of those messages we were able to send, we have a lot of new conservative faces joining the Virginia delegation in this new Congress. But one of them is no stranger to actually cutting the size of government because last year in the Virginia General Assembly, as Majority Leader Morgan Griffith $4 billion of state spending. Something that these guys across the road here ought to learn real quick. He also sent a message that if you vote against your district and you vote for job killing cap and trade legislation and you vote to kill those natural resources that we depend on in this country, that you're going to be replaced. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Morgan Griffin. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Tim. It's great to be here carrying your message to the Capitol. And that message is one of accountability. When the district, when the district representative doesn't listen to the people, the people will replace him. And so we took your message that November was coming out there and we talked about Obama and Pelosi policies and we talked about how cap and trade would kill jobs and the people of the 9th District of Virginia sent a message to the Capitol and that is, you are accountable. I have to tell you, we're going through orientation now. It's, it's very interesting, and it's also very awe-inspiring to be here and to know that I soon will take a seat in that building over there. And it's been a long time since I was in high school. But when I was in high school at Andrew Lewis High School in Salem, Virginia, there was a poster on the wall my senior year with a picture of that building and said underneath it a quote from Alexander Hamilton, Here, sir, the people govern. This November, we sent a message to the Congress that they need to remember that here, sir, the people govern. And I full well understand and know that if I don't heed that message, November is always coming. And I pledge to you today and henceforth that I will remember that here, sir, the people govern. It's not about government of a few. It's a government by, for, and of the people. And I'm just thankful that you all helped in so many ways to make sure that people knew they had the right and the opportunity to hold their uh, their government accountable. And I wait uh, in hopes that uh, I will be uh, a person that you all will find uh, approval of. And that when the accountability time comes in November, two years from now, you will say Morgan Griffith lived up to his word his commitment to cut spending and to make sure that this government is doing what the people want. Right. And don't ever forget, here, sir, the people govern. Thank you.